and welcome back to a brand new video. Today I'm bringing you yet yeah, another episode of Premier League Productions. If you enjoy this kind of content, make sure to drop a like as well as the subscribe button. Without any further ado, let's get into it. Which last year which would be an absolutely massive game in Manchester City against Liverpool. But Liverpool will not be at their best this year. I don't have too much faith in them doing much, so I'm going to get right to the chase this one. 2 nothing Man City. Bournemouth against Fulham, relegation fighting Bournemouth as a promoted team, against another promoted team in Fulham, which have been doing absolutely fantastic, but a little wobble or bobble re recently. So I think I'm just going to lean towards Fulham here, actually. one nothing to the Cottagers. Next up, we have Nottingham Forest to take on Wolves at the city ground. And I think both teams are kind of out of form. So I am going to go for it here. I'm going to say Nottingham Forest nil, Wolves nil. Moving on to our next matchup here, Crystal Palace take on Leicester City at Selhurst Park. Now, Selhurst Park, Crystal Palace fans haven't seen a win since, like, October or something crazy like that. So I think I don't see it changing, actually. The change in management to Hodgson didn't necessarily convince me. So I'm going to go 2-0 Leicester City for a team that's also out of form. So two out of form teams. It's a massive game down at the bottom. And we got one more of those. Then we have a massive game in two Europe fighting teams. We have Brighton who take on Brentford at the Falmer Stadium or Amex. And this is going to be a, a fantastic game. Brighton in really good form. Brentford in really good form. So I'm just going to go for it right here. Brighton 2, Brentford 2. Next up, Arsenal against Leeds at the Emirates Stadium. Now, this game should be interesting. Pretty good. You know, you have Jesus is coming back. Jesus, that is, coming back, playing well. Hopefully for Arsenal. Hopefully not for me as a Man City fan. But I just think that it's going just to... Happen again, and Arsenal will get another win here. So I'm going to go for it. Arsenal 3, Leeds United 1. Chelsea against Aston Villa, 10th against 11th. Here are two teams which are pretty in form, in my opinion. Both teams have beaten it at least their last four. And I think this is going to keep on going here. Continue the unbeaten run for both teams. But the only way to do that is to pick a draw. And if you thought I was going to pick a draw, you guessed right, because that's what I'm doing. Chelsea 1. Villa won. Moving on next to our next match, an absolutely massive game down at the bottom of the Premier League table in a relegation fighting teams. It's West Ham who take on Southampton at the London Stadium. All right, then who is going to win? I think West Ham are really out of sorts. They're looking out of sorts. Boys has to go. The Scottish manager has to go. It's just not working out for anybody there. Southampton under Ruben Sellers performing a little better. So I think I'm going to go for Southampton to pick up an away win. Two to one, Southampton. Moving on to our penultimate matchup as we move on to St. James Park. Newcastle United take on Manchester United. And I think this game should be pretty good. It's like fifth against third. So I think this should be good. Pretty competitive here. And I'm going to go for the scoreline. one nothing Newcastle. Just do the better form. Then we move on to our next matchup. And he's Everton against Tottenham. Our final matchup here at Goodison. I think this matchup should be pretty intense here. Everton against Tottenham is always pretty good and I think it's going to stay this way. This will be really good actually. Everton against the team that they're playing Tottenham should be really good but I think that I just see Everton snatching it at the end over Tottenham. More in form, in my opinion. The change in management isn't going to help. So I'm going to go for it. one nothing Everton. Well, there you have it. If you enjoyed this week's episode of Premier League Predictions, make sure to hit that like button as well as subscribe. Without any further ado, I'm going to sign off. Catch you in a while. See ya.